know, the cameras in our phones and tablets, they're getting better with each generation. So do you even need a standalone camera anymore? Well, tonight our tech guys are here to look at the newest generation of video shooters for us. We've got Lewis Lee from L2 Images, and he's here with a video. Of course, it's his business. And then Stephen Bird with Best Buy. You obviously know a lot. You saw him at Best Buy. Guys, what are we looking at in some of the cameras here nowadays? Well, I've got the Nikon D5100 here, which is one of those new generation mm -hmm. of hybrids. It's a, it's a single lens reflex camera, but it also shoots video. Wow. Now, the great thing about the, uh, the, the Nikon D5100, for example, is that it shoots high def video. Wow. Okay. You can uh, actually use this as a primary movie camera. As a matter of fact, I'm shooting a documentary, an hour-long documentary that's going to be shown up on the big screen at the Tivoli. I'm shooting it with this camera. That's amazing. Uh, and you can take stills at the same time, right? You can take stills at the same time, and this camera is about $700 with a lens. You're looking at some of the video that was shot with this D5100. Uh, it has an external mic input so you can get good quality audio. And depending on the lenses that you use, uh, you can get uh, some very good quality uh, video. Now, one of the things that makes a motion picture look like a motion picture, mm -hmm. there's two things. There's depth of field and frame rate. Okay. Normally, your video cameras are shooting 30 frames per second, just yeah. like the ones here at Channel 12. Yeah. But cinema movies, the film shoots 24 frames per second. There's a slightly different look to that, okay? okay? That plus these much higher quality lenses, than interchangeable lenses, mm -hmm. give you a greater control of your depth of field. That is like on that grass where you can see certain things in perfect focus and everything else is kind of a little out of focus. Yeah. That's called depth of field, and that's one of the effects that you can get by using one of these single lens reflex cameras. And then the other camera is the GoPro. Steven's going to tell you about that because they yeah. got these things over at uh, Best Buy. Pretty cool. It's a wearable high def camera. That's amazing. It's a wearable camera that actually shoots 1080p video, uses a regular SD card uh, just like a regular camera does. Uh, has a two hour rechargeable battery and a bunch of accessories. You also have a waterproof housing that's on there. Uh, so you can take it underwater with you. Completely also, underwater. I mean, submerge yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, uh, As a matter of fact, I've got some, some video that was shot with the GoPro, and you can see some underwater video. Uh, wow. There, uh, somebody's wearing it on a helmet and climbing a rock. So, I mean, that whole, we've got the, the yeah. helmet right here, yeah, you've got it, the camera. It's a tough little camera. There's, you know, riding a bicycle wearing wow. the camera. Uh, and it's got to be pretty lightweight. I can't imagine it's I'd want to put 20 pounds on Here's what we're talking about, head. swimming with the camera strapped to your head. Wow. You, you just can't get these pictures anywhere else. Why is it that we're able to do this now? I mean, this is something that even 10 years ago, unless you had probably a million dollars and you were yeah. making a movie, well, you really couldn't get your hands on this. The guy that invented the GoPro was actually a surfer, and he just wanted to be able to share his adventures with his friends. Very so cool. he invented an inexpensive, wearable, high-def camera. That's awesome. Have you gotten a chance to take it out? Have you taken any videos with it? Oh, this is actually Lewis's camera, but I've actually messed with one as well. And a lot of people right now, if you want to go over to YouTube, you can see uh, a bunch of people that like to strap oh. these to their, uh, their <laughs> dog's heads and see the day in the life of a dog. So there's a lot of different uses for this camera other than just going underwater with it as well. You know, it's really lightweight, so they wouldn't even tell that it's there. And also, there's a helmet here in case you're a, a skateboarder or a snowboarder. You just snap it on the top of your camera and yeah. you have a... A down the slope camera so you can. Oh, Lewis, do that's everything. a good look for you. There's <laughs> other accessories where you can control it with a watch so you don't have to worry about taking your hands out of gloves. Uh, if you are a snowboarder or a skier, you just press a button on your watch and it begins recording. That is awesome. Thanks, guys, so much for joining us. And as we mentioned, we told you about Sherman Hemsley. We're going to have a tribute to him coming up in just a minute. Stay tuned.